Could Benjamin Pavard be the next big transfer saga this summer? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Yes, today's video we are centering around the Bayern Munich and French centre-back known as Benjamin Pavard, who seems to have, over the past couple of days, had a lot of speculation, snowball and gather momentum in terms of where his future may lie. Speculation seems to suggest that he is told by Munich that he is ready to quit the German giants in search of a new challenge elsewhere. And like I say, the, the news and speculation has begun to snowball on where he may be going in this upcoming transfer window. We're going to be talking all about Benjamin Pavard, the teams that are interested in him and everything else in between. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both of them always and forever greatly appreciated. And I also encourage you as well to get involved in the comment section. I'm sure you'll have plenty of thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it on this potential transfer story that will make for great and interesting reading down below in that comment section. So do get involved down there. But without further ado, let's talk Benjamin Pavard. Look, the facts are this. Um, over the past couple of days, the, 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 the news had begun to snowball and gather momentum on, uh, on, on his future and began to speculate on where he may be playing his, his football in the near future. With one year left on his current deal, obviously Bayern will face a pretty tough, uh, a pretty tough decision as to whether or not he will be worth cashing in on or whether or not it'll be worth just running down his contract, hoping that maybe he performs a U-turn and maybe decides to stay at Bayern, maybe sign a new contract, or whether he's going to run that contract down. That's obviously what uh, the kind of questions that Bayern are going to have to ask themselves in regards to this player going forward. Pavard seems to be under the impression that he wants a new challenge elsewhere. I can't really blame him for that. He's pretty much won everything there is to win with the German champions right now. And so a new challenge at his age is, is, only, is only sensible, I guess you'd say. It only makes sense that uh, he, he might actually feel that way when he's already uh, a four-time Bundesliga winner He's won the German Cup, he's won the Champions League with Bayern and of course he's very experienced on the international stage as well. A UEFA Nations League winner as well as obviously a World Cup winner. I still remember his iconic goal in the 2018 World Cup for, for France. An absolute stunner of a goal, from especially from a defender. Um, he's been a part of those sides, being a part of those squads and is very experienced on that front in terms of winning trophies and everything. And like I say, it seems like he wants a new challenge. I think it's only fair and right that that is obviously going to be the case going forward. As a lot, along with that, he's a very good player in his own right, in my opinion. He's a good ball-playing defender who's got versatility. He's obviously plays as centre-back, but he's also been known to play as a right-back as well. And I think that those are the kinds of qualities that are why a lot of teams across Europe, just right off the bat, without scratching the surface too deep, that versatility, that experience, those are the kinds of qualities that are obviously are what these big European clubs are looking for and there are a number of clubs that are room, rumoured and reportedly to be interested in him. When I, I was doing my research yesterday on this, there were the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, AC Milan uh, that were all rumoured to be interested in him with also Real Madrid, Barcelona and Inter Milan also keeping this kind of situation on their radar as well. So there are some big teams across Europe that are tracking this player and keeping an eye on Benjamin Pavard going forward. And like I say, I think it's down to his experience. I think it's down to what he's won. I think it's down to the type of defender he is. Ball playing out from the back. The versatility scale of him being a centre-back who can also play right back. He's good defensively. He can also go forward and join attacks. He's... He's a very good all-round kind of defender in that aspect. He's solid, he's strong, and like I say, 
<laughs> there are a number of good qualities to his game as to why I think there are a ton of top European clubs that are keeping an eye on this ever-growing situation. And especially when you consider the price tag as well. Like, obviously, with only one year left on his current deal, the price tag probably isn't going to be that high. And it's being reported that Pavard could be free to join another club for anything for a fee rumoured to be around the 30 million euro mark, which could work out for English clubs at about, around about 25 million, give or take. It is a perfect signing, in my opinion, especially when you're given today's transfer market for a player who... I believe he's like 27, 28, I believe. I believe he's 27, 28. Um, let me just find out here. Yeah, 27 years of age, I was right. Yeah, for a player who's 27 years of age, well within his prime, 30 million is, uh, is, is an incredible kind of capture i guess you'd say an incredible kind of price tag to get for a player of his age a player with his experience a player with his ability 30 million i think a lot of teams will gobble that up and it just seems like a lot of teams are circling around this situation in order to try and gobble that up a guy who's made 162 appearances for the german giants scored 12 goals and assisted 12 times you can kind of tell that he likes to get forward, likes to make, to produce some goals, likes to assist as well. And then obviously when you take into account what he brings to a squad in terms of his ball playing ability, his versatility, he could uh, he, he could very much improve any one of the teams that I've mentioned there. When you, especially when you look at like especially when you look at a Liverpool and a Man City who have started this inverted fullback sort of thing. Well, not really started, but started to play it more often, shall we say? He'd be perfect in that because if they decide to go back to a four at the back, he can provide cover. He can provide cover at right back. He can provide provide cover at centre back. He can play as a wide uh, as a wide centre back in terms of both of those teams, and he can also play just as a natural centre back in a two. There, there's a lot of versatility to be had with a player like Pavard, and I think that it will be very good for any of those two teams, especially to have him and then you look further down the line United AC Milan Inter Milan it doesn't matter he could fit into any one of those sides with that versatility and with how he plays uh, as, a, as a ball playing defender solid just just a solid piece of business in my opinion and I think going forward it's going to be very interesting to see who wins this huge sort of tug of war it seems because like i say there seems to be a lot of teams interested this he seems to have plenty of options open going into the final year of his contract and everything and i think that whoever does get him is going to pick up a very good bargain at the price tag that is rumored to be set at and i think they're going to get a bargain in terms of the kind of player that they're going to be acquiring an experienced player player with good ability good quality and and just a player who all round is very much experienced, winning mentality, being part of a, a Bayern squad and a French national squad that have obviously gone on to achieve great heights over the past few years. And he has been a big part of that in terms of, obviously, the, the defensive side of things. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm very in, intrigued as to where this guy could go. Obviously, like I say, you would probably say that United, Manchester United, given their history, he may be drawn to them. City, given their recent history in terms of winning plenty of titles, having some of the best players in the world go there right now, and obviously having the best manager, um, he definitely could be be off there. If you wanted to go to the more traditional kind of big sides, I guess you could say that Real Madrid, Barcelona, they could definitely hold some sort of weight in this fight. AC Milan, of course, Inter Milan. Not as great as what they used to be, of course. Then, but the, 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 again, they're a side with a lot of history, and of course, Liverpool. They may not be in the Champions League right now, but I would still say that, given the size of their club, they could still hold a bit of weight. 
I don't know. Um, and, and again, they they still have the pull of still like a Jurgen Klopp. They still have the pull of having a few of the best players in the world at the, at their club. So it'd be very interesting to see what kind of mindset Pavard is in going forward when, of course, he makes his decision uh, coming into the summer. If, of course, he doesn't decide to perform a U-turn and he decides uh, not to want to leave and he decides to stay. But the overall consensus is, is that he does want a new challenge and he wants to seek it in another country within Europe, one of the top sides, top clubs in Europe. And I'm pretty sure that one of the teams that I've mentioned will likely be getting his signature going forward. Obviously, in my opinion, I hope it's Liverpool. I think he'd be perfect and slot straight in to that Liverpool role. Ball-playing uh, defender. Cover for Trent. Cover at centre-back as well. That versatility, uh, I think, is obviously what uh, is what Jurgen Klopp desires and what Jurgen Klopp needs in that back line especially. I'd be happy to see him in a Liverpool shirt, but I think with the competition that is around the Reds in involving this potential deal, I don't think that we will be able to sign him. Unless, obviously, he's a massive Liverpool fan and he wants to obviously come to Liverpool and wants to wants to join with Jurgen Klopp and the likes of Mohamed Salah and Virgil van Dijk and Alisson. So, fingers crossed on that one. But, like I say, I, I think that... Um, I, I I think with the level of competition around the Reds, it's going to be very difficult for them to secure this deal. Um, it, it it suits the Reds down to the ground in terms of what they're looking for in a defender, in terms of the price tag and everything. But I I think the competition is just too fierce, and I, I feel like they might just miss out. But those are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it, on Benjamin Pavard and a potential move away from Bayern Munich this summer. I'd like to know what you guys think, what are your own thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it on this potential uh, transfer story. And I'm sure they'll make for great and interesting reading down below in the comments section. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things are always and forever greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I'll see you all again soon in another video.